Hello friends, Coach Bob with you. And today we are gonna be addressing something that is near and dear to my heart. And that is the beautiful and illustrious Coach Vic's safety. Yes, her safety. And uh, as you can see, I got some brackets and bolts and whatnots down here. And what this is, this is floorboard risers for the Can-Am Spider RT. I believe all years, 14 through 19. So one of the issues we've been having is Coach Vic's feet have been falling off this footboard as we ride along, and I don't like that. It's not that there's any real burn hazards or injury hazards, but I don't like the way that she just doesn't feel secure sometimes. So as you know, we added the armrest for her security. We are gonna raise those footboards up just a little bit. Four, four boards, footboards. You say tomato, I say tomato. You know what I mean? And we'll get these things up and safe for her. Do I know how to do it? Not yet, but we're gonna learn together because that's what we do on this channel. Because we learn together, I mess up, so your job is easier. That's my job. By the way, Frank from Pennsylvania, hello Frank, asked me about this hat. What is up with this G-R-I-T-B-X-I-N-G-N-Y-C hat you're wearing? Well, a friend of mine is involved with this grip boxing. It's kind of a, it's a fitness move going on up in uh, New York City. And a good friend of mine named Chan, hello Chan, has a channel, uh, I will click, put a link up here. It's about Masters Fitness. His name is Chan. If you type in Masters Fitness with Chan uh, Ganaway, you'll get him. Chan Ganaway, Masters Fitness. You will uh, find his channel. It's him and his lady friend, and they work together and they do this They've been doing this a while. They're both tremendous athletes, extremely fit, and they focus on the 40 and over folks. So there'll be a link down there also for their channel. If you want to peruse their channel, um, you might learn something. It might motivate you to do a little more. Anyway, just somebody asked me about it, and Chan, I saw him in a picture in New York City. He was wearing this hat, and I said, hey man, what have I got to do to get a cool hat like that? Chan being the dude that he is, two days later, there was one in my mailbox. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. So how are we going to measure the height for Coach Vic's feet? Where do they need to be? Well, what we're gonna do is we're going to install these. And as you can see, you have these adjustment holes. Now this may be a little arduous for some people. I, I, don't, I don't worry about how long something takes. I would rather take my time and do it right. So I may have to put this thing together and take it apart 15 times to get it perfect for her foot height, but I'm willing to do that. So what I'm gonna do is get these things installed. You and I are gonna do that together. And then we'll get Coach Vic out here, we'll measure the height, and we'll be ready to put this thing on the road. Um, these things are a uh, billet aluminum that has been, uh, I, I would assume, uh, the, the water lathe cut type thing. Um, it, it has that feel to it, and it's powder coated in a nice black. The finish looks durable. One thing I will do, I always do this, is I will be checking all of the threads before I install everything. I always run the screws into all of the thread holes to make sure I don't run into any binds. The tools we're gonna need for the job are a 13 millimeter socket, a five millimeter Allen key or Allen socket, and some masking tape. Looks like a great, great unit here. Let's get to work on that right now. So all I'm doing right now is I'm flipping these floorboards up. There's a 13 millimeter bolt right there. And we are going to take those 13s out of each side. Just get that done real quick. There's a uh, metal piece that this screw goes into in the back. There it is. <laughs> Came out so quick, my goodness. So what's in the package? You've got these four long bolts. One is for the, uh, for the bracket here with the adapter and the other is for the floorboard. I measured them, they're all for the exact same length. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little Loctite on there. You're supposed to install this thing up towards the top, which is what we are going to do. And so let me get my Loctite. I've already checked to make sure that these threads work properly in here. Now you'll see there's notches in, in this piece. This is the piece that came off the spider. This is gonna go this way and you'll see it. There's a little teeth there and those, those lock in like a little saw blade like that and that keeps this from sliding up and down. This is supposed to be all of the way to the top with this bracket like this, with these two holes vertical. So let's just put this in. Um, we're going from the front side because from the back there is a uh, there's a uh, exhaust in the way. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see if I can kind of start this. And then once I start it, which I have it started just like that. So now that I have it started, I can lift this 
and you'll feel those teeth lock in. I'm gonna go to the top right there to where, but you want the top to where this groove, this groove on the back of this should slip inside this slot. You want it in there and that gives it lateral support so it can't rotate. So there it is all the way to the top as high as it can go in the hole and I'm pressing that piece in there to make sure those teeth are all locked in. All right. Solid as a rock. I like that. I do like things being solid. So the next thing is to mount this plate to the floorboard. Now remember we rotated that up. So if this was flipped down, that would be the side of the spider and that would flip down. Okay. So we have another notch there and we have a flat surface there, right? So you'll take that this little piece here will slip in that notch that gives it lateral support front to back. You use your other long bolt. I'm gonna use the washer off of the original Can-Am product. Probably not necessary, but I'm going to, if it was good enough for the manufacturer, it's good enough for me. Let's put a little Loctite on here. Let me see, is that a 13? Yes. So what I'm going to do, there we go, just like that. Now, so this, you're seeing what's happening here. You can see this is locked into a groove there. Now this is going to be bolted to that. Now these, obviously, I'm not going to lock tight yet <laughs> until I get Coach Vic on the spider. So we know that the floorboard used to sit about right there. We've got this set here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this thing up. And I was wondering how big of a gap between this bolt and the spider is. There, there's a significant gap there. That's good because you don't want to damage it. As I always tell you, um, one of the things that I'm doing right now is uh, I am cleaning these, uh, these threads out, making sure that I don't run into a bind, a bind of powder coat. So far, so good. Is this overkill? Ah, for you? Yeah, maybe. For me, definitely not. So I won't put you through the boring time of me running screws in and out, okay? Uh, turn the camera off for that. Um, we have some masking tape. This tape is going to uh, cover that bolt that will be on the back side. That way, if you inadvertently drop this thing, you don't scratch your, your spider. Um, that wouldn't be cool, would it? This bolt right here is the one I'm referring to. And you'll be putting it up and you'll see it. I kind of did a little mock-up. Looks like you have an inch. But if it slipped out of your hand, and this thing, this thing has a little mass to it. If it slipped out of your hand, it'd definitely gouge your paint. It looks like a little dried up tape here. I'm gonna be throwing this away. So I've got a little different roll of tape here. Um, this masking cake tape can kind of dry rot out here in the garage. It gets hot out here in the summertime and cold out here in the wintertime. And if it looks like I'm overkilling it, um, I am. Now we don't have to worry about that, that uh, stretch scratching the paint. Now all we have to do is line the holes up and put these in. And the same thing on the other side. I'm going to eyeball the height. I have no, I mean, it was about here. I'm thinking about there would be right for Coach Vic. Just eyeballing it. It looked like when I was messing with her leg, kind of uh, looking at, at where she would be. There's, like I said, there's the previous hole, and it was right there. So I'm thinking if I can go up just above where the paint starts, I think that might be a good start for us. Okay, we got that started. That's all I want to do, start it. Remember when you're starting screws, <laughs> you don't do them tight because you may not be able to get the other one lined up if you do that. I know you're looking at the back of an old head. That dropped right in. Perfect. So at this point, it cannot rotate left or right. I don't have to worry about it falling. I can flip this up even and get that more out of my way. So we're just going to snug these up. Now, I will tell you that, that I don't, you know, when I look at cosmetics, is this going to make your spider more pretty? No, not so. Is it gonna make it way more functional? Yes, it is. And if you ride children, or if your wife is like mine, who is vertically challenged, we will say, 
that looks good. And I will tell you, you'll never notice that. Because when I'm standing up, I don't even see that. You have to be down here. But when you're up here, that's what you see. And let me tell you, that is a dramatic, dramatic difference. So as with normal Coach Bob 3 protocol, this side is exactly the same. Hoorah! So therefore, we will time lapse it. All right, so I just went inside. I told Coach Vick she needs to come out here. Now, I've, I've left the tape on the back side just in case I have to make some adjustments up and down. Don't want to scratch any paint. Don't want to have to put tape back on it. Um, so I go inside. She's wearing khaki shorts and a T-shirt. And I go, hey, you need to put on your ride boots. She goes, with khaki shorts, I'm going to look like an idiot. I'm like, no, you won't. You'll look cool. So make sure down in the comment section you make a hoot hoot for her, uh, her boots and shorts. <laughs> go big boy, come out with them boots on. <laughs> come on, girl, we gotta get these things measured up. Let's go. Hello. <laughs> nice boots. Ta da! That's high. Woo. I wow. think that's gonna be right, though. I, I mean, think I that's, didn't know that short. I think that's gonna be right. I All really right. do. I, th I, you know, and, and I could be wrong, and they could be too high. I sat on it. Uh huh. It was not uncomfortable to me, but it is high. All right, I don't feel okay. comfortable. If you think it's going to help my legs, I, I take your word for it. Mm -hmm. yep. <sighs> that is way better, man. Do you know how much less spasms you're going to have? Does that feel different? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Our legs aren't feeling as much. Right, your legs aren't flopping around. Sit here in front of me. I mean, just your geometry looks completely different. Oh, wow. Now, see, and look at this. Normally, when I just kind of touch your heel, uh -huh. your foot just slides off. Look at this. Okay, so not, they're not too tight or nothing? No, they're not binding. What do you think? I guess it's good. I made a difference. What a huge. That, look, if you have somebody that's disabled, this right here, I'm gonna, this is a must. What no, a I didn't difference. even know. What a difference, because when I put her on the spider normally, it's hard for me to get in her legs. You'll see a, you'll see me grab her knees and kind of, Arr! and and that's because her legs will start to spasm because they're hanging. This takes the weight off of her legs. So her legs, cause she can't tell if they're hanging or not. She looks down, my foot appears to be on it. Everything's fine in her mind, but I'm going, there's something not right because you're spasming and you're, you're scissoring me here. So Feels good. now, wow, I mean, that's different for me. Now put your armrest down, see how you feel. That's right hasn't got this yet. Oh yeah. So you, you, your, your, ge your geometry looks better. Everything looks better. Cause you were kind of hanging like that, your legs okay. like that. Now it's it's at 90 degrees. And well, that's glad you noticed that. That's nice, man. Wow, what a difference. That's crazy. It's all so simple. You need to get you some of these if you got a wife that's smaller than your children. You need to get some of these. That's that works. really cool. Really neat. That's crazy. So that it's more of a 90 degree? It's it is 90 degrees. I look pretty thin. Your legs were hanging, they were literally hanging before. Mm -hmm. it, I think that's going to serve two purposes. One, it's going to make me feel a lot better. Well, I think it takes pressure off my butt, too. Yeah. So I can feel it. Like I feel like I'm sitting on more upright. And that could have been some of the pressure on your lower spine with your feet hanging down there, kind of wobbling you around. Mm -hmm. Wow. Excellent. So all I have to do is pull a couple of bolts out, lock tight, and snug them up. We're good to go, man. 
So, Coach Vic, what do you think? What are your thoughts on that? What are your they thoughts? feel good. I didn't really know that they were messed, that they were wrong, but I feel a lot. Um, I feel like I'm more aligned. I feel like I'm in alignment. Feel awesome. good. Thank you, Coach Bob. So, do you feel more stable? I feel more stable. I feel like my legs are up as opposed to down. I never realized they were down, but now that they're up, I feel like they're, like I said, more aligned. Okay. I mean, you look more like what I see when I see a Harley riding down the road with a woman on the back. In fact, a lot of times, they're going to have to even up like that. Oh, uh, well, I don't think I need to do that. Um, this feels good. But, you can always adjust if you had to, right? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, once we're on the road, I don't plan on adjusting right, while we're out. Think the, I think this feels good. Okay. So the question is, how much did we actually raise these things? They were basically where that mount is right there. That's the top of it. So the footrest is three and three quarter inches higher three and three quarter inches higher. That That is dramatic. All right. Very nice, I like it. All right, well let's get you off this thing. I know you got busy, busy, busy. I got, busy, busy. I got bridal wedding stuff to prepare. We got a daughter getting married. Oh God. Yeah. I don't think I hid my excitement very well. Uh, I, I can't tell you what this means to me uh, for Coach Vic. I, I worry a lot about her on the back, uh, making sure that her legs are secure because she can't feel them. Um, I'm getting ready here soon to put a backrest in. I'm looking at the uh, big bike parts. It's supposed to be a quick release. I'm concerned, honestly, because what does quick release mean to them? I need something I can pop in and out of the seat. We're gonna see if that's a viable possibility, um, but I would like to have a backrest if we're gonna be traveling thousands of miles. And having something on the front of Coach Vic would even add one more level of security for her in the way she feels. So here is a quick walk around of what it looks like. Well, there it is, the passenger footboard risers. Make sure you like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, do all that good stuff. Now I want you to go out right now, right now. I'm not kidding, I don't mean later, I don't mean an hour, and I'm not speaking figuratively. I want you to go out right now by the motorcycle of your dreams. Start eating right, take care of yourself, and remember, if you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. Now you go seize the day, we'll talk to you soon.